Over the last 25 years, the Singaporean government has invested heavily to develop a knowledge-based and innovation-driven economy. Today, the country is a vibrant center for scientific research. The Singapore government is always very supportive. The government is supportive of biomedical research. We have a heavy pool of talent at the moment. A lot of very well-trained PhDs are available in Singapore. We can also be thought of as a hub towards the whole of Asia. So for many of these reasons, definitely Singapore is a place to do research in. Now it's much more collaborative. People aren't just working with their blinkers on in their own lab. They're having to look elsewhere in Singapore to identify strategic partners. And that was a push that the government made to change the landscape of Singapore. It is a highly interactive community among a very diverse group of scientists. There's a constant flow of new talent and new thinking and new ideas. And by virtue of those interactions, one can do very disruptive science in this little tiny place called Singapore. Within this highly collaborative research community, organoid culture systems are gaining interest. The field has moved a few notch uh, up to try to model tissues and structures, tissues interactions at the three-dimensional level on the Petri dish, but using stem cells as a starting material. We are actually have made significant progress. We are making little organs that resemble the organ of the human body. Previously, we are always growing them in uh, tissue culture plates. So you just see cells, but it doesn't resemble anything in your body. We all know that a lot of the drug discoveries are typically made in the Western countries. So I feel that there is a lot of room to grow for stem cell research, organoid research in Singapore and in Asia. In Singapore, we have Chinese, Malays and Indians. So in one city itself, we can access to materials from these different races and that will allow us to perform uh, organoid culture differentiations, identify racial specific differences and hopefully help in the effort towards precision medicine. The organoid research is not really in its infancy, but certainly it's developing both in the industrial applications and in the laboratory. And I think principally for drug screening, by d using techniques that we perform in the lab, such as disease modeling for cystic fibrosis or other genetic diseases, that the organoid platform will provide a powerful system to identify drugs that will be therapeutically relevant. Like any cutting edge technology, there are still challenges impacting the broader adoption of organoid culture systems. One problem with using pluripotent differentiation strategies um, is that every lab does it their own way. And so standardizing that by providing medium formulations and protocols is one way to have consistent output of organoids. I think as a researcher, we are always on the lookout for off-the-shelf kind of protocols or medias or regions that allow us to, you know, um, not having to struggle with the formation of organoids. Because what we are interested in is really the biology behind uh, how the cell types are talking to each other or the biology behind the diseases. So if forming the organoids can be as easy as just uh, soaking those cells in the media, I think that would be great for all researchers. As scientists helping scientists, stem cell technologies is making organoid technologies more accessible. High quality, standardized organoid culture media, kits and protocols help researchers start off on the right foot. What I really hope to see is that collectively as a community, we all show that um, the human stem cell derived organoids are really very representative of the human disease biology and that becomes a very superior human specific um, model to work with. With a collective effort by both those in the academia and the companies, then the ecosystem will be vibrant and then you know, the whole world can embrace the use of human stem cells and organoid uh, for our next um, uh, regenerative medicine effort. <laughs>